All right, you lot. I want to just go over one, well, really one way. I might do two ways, but really I want to focus on the one way to unflood your engine. And this is going to apply to nitro and also two strokes, like your petrol ones, I mean, um, if you've got a one-fifth scale of petrol. If you keep flooding it, or you have flooded it, and it won't start. One way, and I'm only going to say one way, because there's more than one way, but you never know, I might end up getting carried away and going into all the other ways. But one way to unflood it, quite an easy way, you haven't even got to take the glow plug out, or the spark plug, is to simply just do this. Really, it only applies if you've got a roto start, or if you've got a Traxxas and you've got your old <coughs> electric start, it'll apply for that. If you've got a pull start, you can still do it, it's just a bit bit more hard work. But all you've got to do, if it's flooded, see with nitro engines, when they flood quite a lot, they won't turn over at all, in which case you have got to take the glow plug out. But if it's just a bit flooded, and it'll still turn over with your roto start, bit right at the start in the back and it'll still turn over but it's just a bit difficult it's slightly flooded all you got to do is very simple hold your throttle wide open now what that's doing is when you've got your throttles wide open like that that is then you've got your right oh start going you're holding it like that yeah so you've got your transmitter you're holding your, your arm on the, on top of the car like that yeah resting on it Transmitter there, wide open throttle, and with your other hand that I can't do because I'm holding the camera, you've got your roto starting the back there, and you're turning the engine over. Now, there's maximum airflow going in that carburetor now. The more air's going in, it's clearing out that fuel because loads of air's being sucked in. The, the the fuel which is in there, which is flooding the engine, is then just being pumped straight out, straight out like that. And what will happen is it'll, it'll unflood. And it might even start up, and it should start up like that. Now, as I said, with nitro, you don't get it with petrol. With your petrol engine, they won't ever flood to a point where you won't be able to turn it over. Um, but we'll get onto that in a minute. With nitro, you will find if you flood it too much, it won't be able to turn over. Don't keep trying, you'll burn out your roto start, you'll break your pull start string, you might even break the gears in your roto start plate down there. Just take the glow plug out and then turn it over, um, you know, go ee -ee -ee -ee, or pull the pull start, put the glow plug back in and away you go. But a lot of people, what happens is, the re that's the reason why I'm going over this in this video, because... <laughs> I see a lot of people all the time, you know, it doesn't matter whether I'm out and about and it's real life people or if it's people on the internet. It gets flooded a little bit where the engine's still turning over but it ain't starting and then they go and take the glow plug out and they do all this. You don't need to do any of that. Just hold the throttle wide open and keep turning the engine over and it'll pump all the extra fuel straight out of the exhaust and then it'll probably start. <laughs> you know, you don't need to fanny around. And I just feel it might be a bit of helpful information. So that is regarding Nitro. By the way, this is going to be controversial. There's going to be people that are going to get the arm with me saying this. I do have a, quite a lot of messages and comments from people when I do these videos trying to help people out and give information out there. They get the arm with me and say, why are you giving out all these information? You're giving out all the trade secrets. And I'm like, trade secrets? It's a bloody hobby. I mean, there ain't no trade secrets, is there? Don't get me wrong, if it's work, yeah, like in my job, there's loads of trade secrets, as they call them. You only know about them when you become in that industry and you learn all this stuff over many years. Now, those are trade secrets and you don't give them out to just anybody willy-nilly. But in a hobby, you know, I'll help anyone out with an engine. Yeah, I'll help anyone, so... I don't care about the whole trade secret thing. There is no trade secrets. So we've covered nitro briefly. As I say, there are many ways, you know, and if it is flooded badly, you will need to take the glow plug out. Don't, don't try and force your nitro engine if it's flooded that bad. If it's just a little bit, keep turning it over with the throttle wide open. Keep it wide open. Leave it wide open like that while you're turning it over. It'll get all that fuel, pump it out like a pump. Now let's move on to petrol. Now, petrol is incredibly simple, 
incredibly simple. In fact, not, if you think nitro is easy, petrol is even easier. In fact, they're probably not far off each other, but petrol is a... Oh, I mean, I cut that off really, didn't I? Oh, bloody hell, I forgot all about that. Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, petrol is um, <laughs> incredibly easy. So, if you've got a one-fifth scale, like this, and it's flooded, yeah, you keep pulling it and pulling it and pulling it, it won't start, you know, there's petrol, well, there's no overflow pipe on these, they've got no float bowl, um, because they're just diaphragm carburetors. But you keep pulling it and it won't start, right? Now, you may have flooded it so much that you're going to take the plug out and give it a clean, because it would just be loads of petrol on the plug. But, if you've got electric start, and this doesn't just apply for RC small engines and things, you know. This applies for carbureted cars as well, you know. Hold that throttle wide open, and it'll clear all that extra petrol out, and it'll, and it'll start up, you know. So, all you've got to do, again, throttle wide open, yeah? Wide open. You know, with one of these big ones, you have to put it on the floor. Put your foot on the on the wheel, yeah? Hold it wide open and keep pulling on that pole start. And what'll happen is the same thing again. As you're pulling it over, bah, 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 yeah? Because the throttle is wide open. And the choke off, by the way. Yeah, choke off, so you've got full air path all the way through. Every time you're pulling it, it's sucking in loads of air. And then that air is pushing out the extra petrol straight out of the exhaust. And you may well find that it will just go and fire up after five or six pulls, put it clearing out that petrol there. Again, though, you will find if it's flooded that badly um, that you'll have to take off, take the plug out, and you'll have to give it a clean with a wire brush. I'll tell you what, I probably could show you how to do that, to be honest. Didn't show you how to do a glow plug, did I? But shall I do that? Yeah, I'm going to show you how to properly clean a spark plug. Because a lot of people waste plugs. <laughs> they just take them out and put a new one in. That is the most incredibly wasteful thing I've ever seen. Don't get me wrong, it's different if you're racing because you want your engine to be on tip-top form. So you want a brand new plug. I understand all of that. Some people put the old plugs in the bin. Me personally, racing, I save the old plugs, the plugs that I take out that still work, I save them and use them for practicing and things like that because there's nothing wrong with them or just if I need to get an old engine going I've got a box full of plugs that still work that are good enough you know anyway let me go and get a spanner and we'll get that plug out and I'll show you how to clean it right so this was the closest spanner I had to hand anyway put that on there so your engine is now flooded yeah it won't start more oh. on a petrol engine don't be fooled um, with the petrol if it's flooded it'll still better turn over not like a nitro where it will just jam up solid then you won't better turn it over the petrol it will still turn over so take that plug out right. there it is there's your plug if it's if it's was flooded a lot you'll see this will all be absolutely covered in petrol um, obviously this one's clean because it wasn't actually flooded you can see the glimmer of petrol in there because it was only running about three or four days ago it smells beautiful so what you've got to do you need a bit of rag a wire brush ideally a better one than this one <laughs> and you just give it a bit of a like that all right a bit of a clean you can you know there's no there is right and wrongs but no big issues you can get a lighter and you can burn off with a flame or a blowtorch, burn it off, you can do that, there's no problem. Um, but I normally just get the wire brush, like that. Clean plugs. You know, people, I can't I'm, I can't believe people that just, they, they take a the plug out, there's nothing wrong with it, it's still working fine, it might even just be a bit dirty. They take it out and put a brand new one in. It's absolute ludicrous, the amount of waste some people do, you know. You can even get a bit of brake cleaner or a bit of um, carb cleaner, spray it on there, give it a clean, 
Um, there you go. That is now a clean plug. So, as you know, that if this was flooded, this would be now clean. And then all you've got to do, you can if you want to, give it a few pulls on the old pull start there just to blow out any extra fuel, but that's unnecessary with a petrol engine. With a nitro, you have to do that. Turn the engine over and it blows all the nitro out the top. With a petrol, no, nah, not necessary at all. So now you just got to do that, nip it up, like that. Make sure it's just nipped, don't do it too tight. Make sure you squash that sit, uh, uh, washer. And that is that. And now that will probably fire straight up, no problem at all. So, a little bit of information there if you've got flooded engines. Because you see people, they struggle with a flooded engine. They don't quite know what to do. I thought I'd just give my advice out there for you lot. Just my bit. Just want to reiterate again with the nitro one. If it is flooded quite a lot, it will uh, it will jam up. So you don't want to be forcing it. Just take that glow plug out. You might need to give it a bit of a clean with a cloth. And turn that engine over and all the extra nitro will shoot out. But as I say, just hold the throttle wide open if it's still turning over and it'll blow it all out of the exhaust anyway and it'll probably fire up if you've got the glow starter in it. So you don't need to be messing around. You know, the way I look at things, why would you mess around taking glow plugs out and fanning around if the engine's still turning over? You might as well just hold the throttle open and keep turning it over and it might start. If it starts, happy days. If it don't start, all right, give up, take the glow plug out, <laughs> unflood it and put it back. Um, you know, everybody's different, but I thought I'd give my bit of advice, I suppose you'd call that. Well, you look, I hope that helped at least some of you. It'll be controversial, there'll be people that get the ump, there'll be people that will say that it's wrong, but I can assure you it works. Yeah, it does work, and those who've worked around carbureted engines for a while will know that that works. So, a bit of patience, and you'll get there. Don't give up. Flooded engine is a common thing, and a lot of people get annoyed over it because it won't start. It's just simply because it's flooded. So, there we go, you lot. If you liked, well, if you liked this video, think about sticking around, and uh, there's loads of this type of video to come. In fact, in a couple of days' time, I'm going to give this a good old ragging around the field and uh, blow the cobwebs out of it so we'll see what that's going to be like hopefully it doesn't rain tomorrow and I'll go out a weekend anyway, I'll see you lot later on all the best, treat each other equally well, not equally but nicely, treat each other nicely and we'll all have a good happy life cheerio you lot